Ever since I was a little girl, I've had an affinity for water. Sitting by the water was a way to escape the noise, the world around me that never seemed to rest. In those moments, I had room to slow down, to reflect, to breathe. It was like, as society screamed at me to hurry up and figure everything out, the water just softly whispered, take all the time you need. A few decades ago, Quinshan was quite the agricultural hub. Unlike what you see today, farmland and grassland went for miles and miles, untouched by urbanization and westernization. Now, mainly due to the substantial amount of Taiwanese investment, it's an industrial metropolis with the highest GDP ranking for any city of size in all of China. But there are some parts of Quinshan that are still well-preserved, particularly the water towns. Before coming to China, I'd never even heard of Quinshan, and if I'm being completely honest, even after living here for over a year, I still don't know much about it. So I decided to take a risk. I, a Wai Guoren, was going to make my first documentary on Ba Cheng, a 2,500-year-old water town which, lucky for me, was less than 15 minutes away from my college campus. Did I know what I was getting myself into? Absolutely not. But who does? Since Ba Cheng wasn't too far from my college campus, I always made sure to bring some of my friends along to help record or translate. As we were walking, my friend Nancy mentioned that she often visits a pagoda here at night. I was hoping that she'd tell me something that I'd never heard before. I found peace and the mystery of Buddhism just embodied me and I feel I'm more calmer and uh, happier. It was only after we stepped through the gates that she revealed to Rudy and I that it was also her first time going inside. I couldn't help but feel a bit disappointed. Ba Cheng was just not a place that people my age went to, and I could understand why. The population mainly consisted of elderly people or young children, and there wasn't much to do. Even so, I wanted to learn more. Unfortunately, it seemed like many people didn't want to tell me much about it. However, we did manage to find a couple people that were more than happy to talk. Uh, 
皮下哈仙儿，呃，和尚没劲，这当不行。你刚才提出来的，当不行。大杂现实叫一线八线，就是现实这些，然后还叫美丽，啊，闺女，失落，呃，烦乱，不是你，啊，还有陈陈师傅，陈师傅，演员，啊，哦，你，编，哎，编，哎，就是就是个八线。Uh. I walked away from each interview feeling like a piece of the puzzle known as Ba Chung was finally being put into place. But if I had any chance of solving it, I was going to need quite a few more pieces. Having never been to a Chinese market, I wasn't sure how long it would take to find the eight Yangcheng Lake seafoods. In the span of five minutes, we found all of them. <laughs> Although I was happy we found everything, I was a bit taken aback by what I saw around me. Blood and guts were everywhere, yet no one looked surprised. I didn't know how to feel about it, but I did know that if I was going to continue learning about this place, I needed to have an open mind. Since my only agenda for the day was to find the eight seafoods, I wasn't sure what I should do next. Ba Chung was still a mystery to me, and it didn't help that it was freezing cold, my battery was dying, and I had class in an hour. So I did the only thing I could think to do. Walk until I found water. After a few minutes, we stumbled upon this rundown building in an alley right next to the water. As I was trying on my coat, I figured out what I was missing. I was asking all the wrong questions. In order to understand Ba Chung, I first needed to understand the people who lived there. So I returned to Ba Chung a few weeks later, this time to learn more about the woman who worked at the Sifu market. Unfortunately, the background noise was too loud for me to hear what she said clearly. So I had my friend Mark explain what she said afterwards. Her day starts at 2 a.m. every day. While the moon is still shining, she is up catching fish to sell at the market, and has been doing so for the past 30 years. Yet even with the exhausting amount of work she does, there are many factors that prevent it from being lucrative. The fish die easily, and when there's a natural disaster like a flood, she can barely make ends meet. Despite the challenges she faces, she still hopes to earn enough money to build a home that she can call her own in the countryside. The lifestyle she lives leaves no room for rest, yet she was still smiling and had hope for a better future. I left the marketplace feeling inspired and determined to learn more about the other woman I met who work in Ba Chung. I then went to see the leaf weaving woman. She invited us to her house to see her handicraft collection. Oh, now, this is 
我当时的游戏公司，我记得我好像哦，这个是蚂蚱，蚂蚱，嗯。Before she started leaf weaving, she lived in the village. But because she doesn't have a field anymore, she, like many other elderly people back home, started making these handicrafts. She first boils the leaves, then wraps them around a metal wire that acts as a skeleton. When she's done, she paints them with lacquer, lets them dry. Then adds wooden bead eyes as her finishing touch. And so we headed to our final destination, the coat shop. 就是其他大版鞋，这个就是欧版。格子的，格子的。有其他颜色吗？这一款没有，就黑色。嗯。就就那么。哦。这是什么？太难了。这个袖子短。哎，袖子九分，没有这个。这 sleeves 还是这个还是这个？啊 ，yes， 这些好像。Nice。Yes， this is fun。哎。我们做了六年，做了六年啊，因因为这个现在就是六年前，现在这个市场刚刚打开，就是我们八成全是做这个。你是本地人吗？哎，不，我是我们是八成本地的、嗯。然后这个呢，全国各地都到我们这边来拿货的，啊、包括你们四川成都、重庆，都来，都在我们这边拿货的、啊。因为我们八成是做这个双面羊绒的基地。哦，跟螃蟹一样，哎、就跟八成的大闸蟹一样的啊,啊，所以就是六年前这地方才开的时候，哎对，才刚刚开始，刚开始啊、okay ，其实行程就这六年，就是六年，哎对，但是它发展的很快的，你看六年，全部的都知道我们这边什么时候八成的，我是去年，哦，那那就是过来了，你晚了，你因为你像之前过来的时候。很早过来的时候，这边没有，这边没有，哎，没有。这个衣服制作之后，然后他是怎么样去，怎么样去出售，然后怎么样去，就是卖给其他外面的厂家，要怎怎么样？哦，我们啊，我们我们,我们厂里的，他们都来拿货的，不要我们，我们有，我们有时他们自己来拿，有的我们就是快递，快递，嗯，全是快递。嗯这几年变化肯定大，你看我们八成那个湿地公园啊、水上公园啊，还有森林，就昆山那个马鞍山路，不是有森林公园啊？我们昆山现在发展的好了，这几年是这，就算这五六年发展的挺快的。昆山现在人家说小上海啊，卖给你就是就比如说给您生活上最直观的一些变化有哪一些？那肯定是住宅房子喽啊,啊，房产嘛。啊，昆山这五六年的房，房价现在三万嘞，晨曦。哎呦，因为这几年我们这边市场都发展，全中国都发展的都很好。嗯，我们这边主最最主要靠近苏州，上海，嗯、对，就是有利条件。对对，就确实有。你想上海，上海市中心的房子十几万一平，对不对？嗯，昆山都要七八万，对不对？嗯、啊，不是昆山，是那个苏州、哦，对不对？嗯。哎，不是，现在那个杜克大学属于在昆山是最好的。嗯。好好好，谢谢。I feel so fulfilled. <笑> All it took was a coat. Yeah. Never mind the first year and a half of college. <笑> Why do you need a BA when you can get a coat? That's so dark. Is that what our degree is worth? Like for a whole year, from last winter. Three months ago. I set out to understand Baja. At the time, I wasn't too fond of this water town. I could say it's because I wasn't accustomed to not seeing people my age, or the water town just didn't live up to my expectations. However, the truth of the matter is, before, when I went to sit by the water, it was to escape the world. But here, I was ironically forced to engage with it. Forced to have conversations and be a participant in an exchange called human connection.
I learned that water isn't meant to isolate. It's meant to bring together. On my journey, I met some of the nicest and most hardworking women I've ever had the pleasure of meeting. Women who were willing to open up to me and my friends, people whom they had never met, and trust us with their stories. From what I've learned, since the economic reform that started in 1978, their lives have been transformed, largely for the better. Even so, I can't help but wonder if the local government, in its pursuit to promote tourism, will sacrifice Ba Chung's individuality. Whether it be in selling coats, hairy crabs, or watching Queen Opera, will commercialization inevitably make its way into Ba Chung? Will the peace and tranquility that I grew to love about this water town no longer exist in the coming years? I guess only time will tell. Thank you.